starting the weekend vlog off to an absolutely cracking start by starting it just before I go to bed at half past ten. <laughs> A lot of organizing today uh trying to get on top of like some of the odd i kind of things that i wanted to do but weren't big i like kind of chucked onto my saturday to-do list um and i've been trying to figure out ways of i need to wipe that whiteboard down i've been trying to figure out um ways of sorting out stuff so i started uploading videos i'm going to try and make upload a video every single day for the next couple of weeks for me to catch up um also i am getting close to day 3000 so do you think I'm a week away? So that's interesting. Um, <laughs> otherwise, yeah, so I did some minor organizational stuff. Not crazy, man. I had a big old lie in today. Got to get up early tomorrow because we're watching Formula One at 10 past six in the morning, like a lunatic. Um, <laughs> but like, I'm, I've already paid for it, you know? It's like 10 pound a race, so I can't not watch it. Um, I'm not watching qualifying, which is on at three, two o'clock in the morning. Um, but yeah, so words, words, words. Otherwise, I've been looking at developing the Azure function, which is going to be computing my uh, test result files. I really need to get that finished tomorrow because it's the end of the sprint tomorrow. Um, it's just some. It's just one of those things that's really difficult to do well, like <laughs> do tidily, because I want to eventually build it so that I can support multiple different types of test result file because it might not necessarily always be the same one. And then I realised I didn't necessarily need to do that. But e even so, like it's just a bit filthy because it's like it's in blob storage, so I've got like a blob reference. Then I've got to read it. So now it's a stream. I've got to pass that into the XML. Uh, sorry, the it's a zip file. So then, got to go into the zip file. Got to figure out what the files are and not what the repositories are. Then roll out from there. Then like translate it into an actual file. Uh, it's such a pain in the ass. <laughs> and like because of what the nature of some of those objects are, it's just like a it's almost impossible to test. And it's almost impossible to do nicely. So I'm thinking I'm just it's just going to smash it together and or do it um, with in F sharp. I'm toying around with the idea of trying an F-sharp function for the first time ever, but eh. uh, but I've never written F-sharp before. Um, but I feel like this is one of those things that's like, yeah, it makes more sense in F-sharp land than it does in non-F-sharp land. Um, so I may look into that. Don't know. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Killed it. Basically, I just started the vlog now so that I can wear my... What are you talking about? Yeah. What? Then don't hate on me. Don't hate on you. Mate, it's not thickened yet. Deliberately. We're cooking a pie. Um, yeah, I wanted to put my pyjamas on, but if I put my pyjamas on, then you guys would think that I didn't get dressed today. So. Woke up early this morning to watch Formula One. Formula One was good. It was all right. It was good. I did got some work done while it was on. Um, I've done quite a bit of programming today. I've been getting the that is your function ready. Um, I've now got it. It's working. I want to make a minor change to it to simplify the way that I'm storing the data. Um, and then I'm going to merge it. And then I've got to um, get my basically priority is get the sprint done. Sprint's the number one goal. Get the sprint sorted so that I can have it so I can plan the next sprint this evening. <sighs> and yeah, that's basically what, what I've been working on, to be honest. Is there something else? Oh, and I've been talking to um, my old boss, being like, here, here's an idea. What do you think of this idea? And he's like, yeah. I'm like, cool. Also, status report on that function. It's still not very good. Like, I couldn't get it sorted in F sharp. I backed out of that. I thought that was just going to be a waste of time. Um, and it's still not great in C sharp. It's like basically untested apart from the mappers. Um, but it'll be all right, it'll be all right. If I need to make it clever in the future, I'll make it clever in the future. Otherwise, tonight the focus is get that all finished so that I can plan next week and then maybe jump start and get a bit of a head start on the other things I need to do in that time frame. So I was hoping to get a bit more of a jump start on the next week, this weekend, and have a, a lot of programming done, so. Well, I hit my sprint goal. Happy days. I haven't planned it though. I haven't planned the next sprint. That's not good. I feel like I'm rolling into this week with another big old list of things I need to get done. Um, and it's a bit daunting, so I'm going to leave the to-do list until tomorrow morning. That's my plan. This is a particularly clear your head kind of walk. <laughs> it's Monday morning uh, and I have a to-do list. Like the amount of stuff I want to get done this week is intense, is intense. And I'm kind of in like that awkward bit where 
where I'm like kind of at the very beginning of lots of stuff. So like today, I've just planned out my to-do list. It's going to be mostly planning this morning, which I'm annoyed at myself because I could have done it yesterday. Uh, again, it's that trick you play on yourself where, where work doesn't feel like work if it's planning, right? But it is work. Um, and yeah, so I've got like lots of stuff I need to do. It's going to be fun. But like because the last week went so well, I pulled things from this week into last week, which means I now have a sprint. I don't have enough stories <laughs> planned out. So I need to properly go back through and figure it out. Um, but like the next development thing I need to do is spin up a new microservice. Um, I've got to polish off the thing that I've just finished, um, as in like make it actually like glue it in effectively. Um, got like content I need to do, emails I need to do, blog content I need to do, and I'm planning uh, something else as well which is exciting but daunting. <laughs> so it's just it's it's all on. This is going to be a very hard worky week. It's going to be the kind of week which will be easy to burn out on. So the, the target is don't burn out. Don't be a dickhead you know. Just get it done. This is like the thing where I kind of beat myself up for simultaneously working too hard but not working hard enough. Because <laughs> you always get the impression everyone else works harder than you, you know? But this is going to be one of them weeks where it's like, nope. And I want to still not get zero development done because I'm going to use development as like a, almost like a productive buffer, you know? Like development kind of feels productive and all these other things are a lot more abstract and don't necessarily feel like they should take as much time as they will take because they do take time but in your head you think oh yeah it's like five minute job um even though deep down i know they're like several hour jobs um but we'll get there it's gonna be fun it's a good start to the week boys and girls let's go get them just gotta keep that positive outset in life you know so i've got the basics of the next sprint planned out um i know what user stories i've got to do and i've got tasks for the first one i haven't got tasks for the rest yet i need to do that um I'm trying to figure out how I'm going to do the next thing I'm working on. Um, I've got so much shit to balance and spin at the same time. And I'm trying to make sure that I can keep track of it all. Because I'm, I'm losing stuff. This little nougat is only big enough for some stuff, you know? I just can't keep track of what it is I need to do. I've cleared my whiteboard down as well so I can now vlog in here again. You know that feeling you get when you just kind of like... You feel like you've got so much work to do that it almost like paralyzes you and you can't then do any work, you know? I'm in a position where like I have a couple of big things I want to start doing. But the thing is like big things are daunting, right? So I'm, I'm trying to break them down and I can't figure out like effectively how to break them down in such a way that is a bit less scary. <laughs> um, and then I'm letting that paralyze me. So I've kind of got like two things paralyzing me. But I've just done like a shitload of planning this morning and that's about it. And I, I've, and the thing is, the thing about planning is, it's all in my head anyway, right? So like, it doesn't feel like work <laughs> writing it down. But the thing is, it's not in my head yet. I've just got these abstract ideas that I kind of want to solidify and make concrete. Um, and that's work, you know? It's weird, it's like, So like all of this planning I'm doing doesn't feel like work because I feel like I already know it all, but I don't already know it all because I'm struggling with it, <laughs> you know? Like I feel like I'm not getting anywhere and that doesn't feel like I shouldn't be able to get anywhere because it's all in my head in a way, you know? I don't think I'm making any sense, <laughs> to be quite frank. Right. I have, I have a list of things that I want to do I don't know how long they're going to take as well. That doesn't help. But I want to get them done by the end of the month. So I have like a list of things I want done by the end of the month now. And I think I'm going to write them down on a piece of paper and then chip through them all. The, the, the big thing is, and it's still a problem for me, is I've figured out a way of managing the software that I'm writing. And I, I've got that down. I know what I'm doing. But like tracking the other stuff that I'm not very good at estimating or scheduling or any of that stuff. The things that I want to plan the most because I have the least like, not drive to do it, but like the least um, 
skills in that area. So the things I want to track and make sure I'm on top of and all that kind of stuff. That's the stuff that I'm struggling to do the most because I'm just kind of for the same reason I need to do it because I'm not very good at it. I'm not very good at tracking it, you know? <sighs> My brain's melting and it's only fucking Monday morning. So it's o'clock. I'm gonna have a cup of tea. I'm gonna reply to my boy who messaged me yesterday after I asked him a load of questions. Um, and then I'm gonna write down all the things I want done by the end of the month. And we've got two and a half weeks to chip them out. And that's our chunk. We've just got two and a half weeks. And I'm gonna run a code sprint and a non-code sprint. And my God, do I have a lot of, uh, a lot of shit I need to do, man. The good thing is that I'm really excited. I'm excited for it. It's just like, you know, I think this week in particular, I'm definitely going to, I'm going to look at what it's like in the library up the road. Um, Cause it's not crazy far away and it's free to go to and I'll have Wi-Fi, obviously. Um, and I'm going to see what it's like. I'm going to head up there and see if I can get a library card. Um, because things like this are things that I do better out the house. I might otherwise, if not, look at um, some co-working stuff in town again. So I can go down for like half a day and do some work. I prefer it to be dry though, the day I do that, which is to be honest, because then I can longboard instead of paying for the bus, which I don't really want to do if I don't have to. Um, but yeah, two and a half weeks. Well, two and a half weeks, we've got two and a half sprints to do in that time as well. So we've got to make sure we stay on top of the dev work. Let's make sure we stay on top of emailing people and then do all of this new stuff. <laughs> Easy. We got this down, boys. If anyone can do it, I can do it. Right. Right, lunchtime. What I've done is I've just spent the past like hour, basically this entire morning, has been planning and getting rid of all of the shit jobs. So, <laughs> so like last week I was really proud of hitting 40 hours worth of timed work, um, which is like insane. Uh, <laughs> But I, so far this week, it's not started off well because I've not timed any of this because it's just generic planning. Um, but we've got a lot to do. We've got a lot to do. And I think after this, I'm going to, after lunch, I'm going to work on something a little bit more concrete, a bit of programming probably. And then we'll get on to some more client-based stuff. Um, I'm kind of in a weird limbo because I'm, I'm going to work, I'm going to start working on something a bit new. Um, so... I'm kind of limiting who I should, who I'm going to be, like, I, I'm almost figuring out whether or not I should just stick to chaser emails until I have this, thing, like, just focus on getting this new thing out. And then once the new thing's out, then I effectively start refreshing the emails again. I don't know. But the new thing, thankfully, appeals to a wider audience than the other thing. So there's that, at least. <laughs> I'm trying not to stress myself out about how little work I've done this morning. <laughs> and the thing is like, everything is, the problem is because everything is new, there's nothing to like, and I've got no like momentum with anything. You know what I mean? So it's not like I can be like, right, let's do this and hit it with momentum. But I'm trying to get the momentum back is what I'm trying to do. Let's have some lunch. But the answer for me is always, how, if I've run out of momentum, how do you get that momentum back? Programming. <laughs> Just program. Program some stuff. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of writing to do, unfortunately. Stop talking to the camera, Jimmy. You're not adding anything important. I actually had a pretty significant uh, productivity swing this uh, afternoon. So I flew through some programming um, and I started doing, um, I am re wording the uh, code view service section of my website and to try and like polish how that's being marketed and sold um got a pretty decent chunk of that done before laura came home and we went shopping um and did the standard monday stuff um i've also figured out now i've planned out all the tasks for this sprint and i've started i'm going to try and like in the evening when i'm on my laptop i can't really there's like you know when you're just kind of watching something you're not really bothered about watching, particularly? Um, we are just kind of, I'm just going to be like, right, this is the best time to plan. Because spending 
week weekday time planning is a waste of time. If it doesn't take much brain power and it's just a case of like, right, okay, create a user story. This is what I need to do in that user story. And then like, when I get closer to the sprint itself, then I populate it with tasks and figure out sizes and stuff and plan it properly. But yeah, so it's been good. It's been good. It's been productive. And also because I, well, because I had a bit of a mental breakdown yesterday uh, or Saturday, whenever it was, um, Laura, absolute babe, bought me an Xbox game. <laughs> She just came home. She's like, you know how how we were saying you need a hobby, um, and then just like Formula One. I'm like, I've been looking at buying that for ages, and I haven't because it's too expensive. And I just, I literally didn't know what to do for myself. I was shook. I was like, I, <laughs> I was gobsmacked. So now I've got a hobby I can do when I don't have uh, anyone to play Xbox with me. I can play Formula One. Yay! Thank you, Laura. I'm working on the very first project I've ever migrated to .NET Core 3. I've decided it's about time I caught back up again. Um, I've been stuck on... Well, no, I, I, to be honest with you, a lot of my services are um, full-fat framework. Well, .NET Core, but run on top of the full-fat framework uh, because .NET Core didn't support service fabric. My latest um, service fabric application is .NET Core now. Um, in fact, the latest two are. But they aren't .NET Core 3. One second, boys. This is... I need to get this mug out without killing everything. I'm now migrating to 3, um, and the next microservice I write is going to be on 3, and I'm going to start rolling back. And one of the biggest ones that I left uh, out of date was my security service. Out of date in terms of um, the version of .NET Core it was run out. Um, and that's because it's just a pain in the ass to configure. I'm working, though, one of the features I'm working on particularly is migrating to .NET Core 3. And since I'm making significant changes to varialis.com and .co.uk, um, I thought I'd migrate that over as well. So that's what I'm currently working on at this precise moment in time. Um, I've also, I've updated all the content on the code reviews overview page. I'm now gonna start rolling through all the other pages. Once I've got that all polished and like clean, I'm gonna focus on the new service and then I'm gonna do the home page. Um, and then I'm hoping I could release it either this week or next week. That's the aim of the game. Um, but yeah, I've, I've updated the, the recapture thing to version 3 now. A um, lot of fun stuff. I did that mainly because I couldn't figure out where my um, where my like credentials are for it and which like Google account that's configured to. <laughs> so that was, a, that was eye opening. So I was like, right, figure that out. We may as well go to 3, see what 3 looks like. 3 looks much better now. Let's roll from there. So... Good times. I'm having fun. I'm having fun this morning, working hard. Making up for yesterday, because yesterday morning was a bit of a mess. But my primary focus this week is drive through all of this development stuff. So I want to I want to get the website ready and finish my sprint. They're the two things I'm, I'm focusing on. I also have chaser emails to send, um, but I'm not going to send any new emails until the website's been updated, um, which I'm going to try and do, like I say, at some point next week. Um, so, if not, so this weekend is going to be a bit of a write-off. So <laughs> otherwise I'd have done it this weekend. But um, yeah, it might be like mid next week. But we'll see. We'll see how well it goes. I'm much better at writing. The last time I did this, I was doing it in my spare time. And I'm much better at writing all of this like marketing spiel <laughs> than I used to be. So maybe I can do it much quicker than I think. Fingers crossed. Slightly distracted by playing a cheeky little bit of Formula One. Uh, it kind of like sweeps you in when you first start because you've got to like qualify for Formula 1 in the first place. Oh, it's going to be a good game though, man. It's going to be good. I'm on my team now and I've paused it before first practice. So, I should really get back to work though. So, we are going to be working now. I'm going to do a bit of programming um, and then we'll get back onto uh, stuff, you know. And I feel like I'm starting to drop a bit of momentum. I've been fluctuating between developing my uh, Red Spider, doing the user stories for the sprint, um, and producing marketing stuff for this new service. I'm trying to figure out how to, um, kind of like how to sell it. Um, so it's fun, it's good fun, I'm enjoying it. Um, but yeah, I'm starting to lose a little bit of momentum. I had my walk, Laura's not back until late today because she's at the gym. So I think I'm gonna play a little bit of Formula One up until the point when uh, uh, basically I've got to do dinner, I think, or I get bored of that and then I can go back and do some more work. I think, I think I'm gonna be doing work on my um, new thing 
um, this evening. I feel like I've planned too much into this week. Like even like the sprint is going to be difficult. <laughs> I've got a lot of work to do. So yeah, it's a fun time. Why have I picked up that clip? Where did I even pick that up from? Was it there? And it is very much past your boy's bedtime. We've had a productive day. Um, we have been chipping through the work. Um, I have also been enjoying Formula One. That's why I'm up so late. Watched the circle and then played a cheeky game of Formula One, which went into kind of two cheeky games. And yeah, so now it's bedtime. Right, tomorrow, productive again. We've got to get this thing sorted. I'm looking forward to it. What day is it tomorrow? Wednesday. God, it's in the beginning of the week. I'll catch you later.